Peace, this medicine man. Are we talking for a brief moment? It's kind of having a conversation about the difference between your ancestors and having ancestral spirits in your lineage. Um, your ancestors are the individuals, the people in your immediate family and in your bloodline that belong to your, <clears throat> some people say spiritual court, but they belong to your, I would say your, your spiritual army. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And these people are the people that begin with the people that you know in life. You know what I mean? Um, the people that you know in life are the closest to you. And those people, in in the eyes of most hoodoo workers, are considered the gatekeepers. You know, um, in hoodoo philosophy, for the most part, it's about those who are close to you, and you use these people, you contact, communicate with those ones that are closest to you, to open the doors to communicate to other spirits. Now, how that works is, when you call forth your grandmother, your grandfather. These are people that walked with you in life. So these are the kind of people that have your best interests in mind when they were living. So on the other side, they have your best interests in mind also. So when you call forth those people as your guides, in the spiritual realm, they know what is good for you and what is not good for you. What spirits belong to your lineage and what spirits don't belong to your lineage because they're there. You know, these people are there. So these are the ones that can bring forth and call forth those ancient ancestral spirits that's in your lineage. They can connect you with them. And this is why some people go into traditions because traditions have certain specific lineages that's connected to certain bloodlines. And then you have people where the spirits actually reveal things to them directly. So they don't need to go into any specific tradition because they have direct connections to the spirits that they're communicating with. And, you know, for the most part, um, that's how the ancestors work. Now, in the spirits in your ancestral lineage can go way back. Like, you may have some deep West African spirits in your lineage that you're connected to through your bloodline. Let's say perhaps um, one of your ancestors seven, eight, nine generations ago may have been a, a, a medicine man or a root doctor. Or let's say they may have been a blacksmith somewhere in the ancient society. And because that DNA pattern exists in you, because that ancestor lives in you, um, that ancestor can arise within you and by you having the same type of inclinations that that person had. So you might go to school and all of a sudden, pow, you are attracted to being a blacksmith and working with metal now. Or we had an ancient root doctor in your line then you might be inclined to work with herbs and roots and healing people, and you won't even have an inclination as to why. But it's really because deep within your ancient lineage, you have people who were uh, medicine men and skilled craftsmen and things like that. And we today, we possess those ancestors within us, so we manifest in those same characteristics. You know, and for the same regard, many of us don't come from great people. You know, um, some of us come from other type people where we have to struggle to correct our um, lineage. You know, and some people call it the generational curse and things like that. When you have a lot of ancestors in the past who may have done things in the past to where curses may have been placed on them. And because of that, you know, um, you... Your life and your family life is somewhat, it seems somewhat obstructed. 
you know, and there's ways around that, definitely ways out of that. But you have to realize what kind of spiritual energy, where it comes from and and how to uh, actually remedy something like that on your life. But when you're dealing with the ancient ancestral lineage, you want to connect as far back as you can and just work with your ancestors. You know, I can never stress that too much. You have to work with your ancestors because they will be your guardians, the ones to show you what spirits to work with. And as you work with your ancestors and they reveal things to you through your dreams, through conversations, through random, random acts, you, and the best part about it is learning how to read them signs. Because once you learn how to read the signs, you know how your spirits are communicating with you and you'll be able to place it all together. So um, that's just a quick word about the ancestors and working with ancestors in your line and your lineage. And I'm just dropping it on y'all one more time. Take care. Peace. This medicine man.